In this video, I'm showing you the new Recite Disposable Lenses. This is a case uh, in, in which I'm operated of uh, floaters and the patient has a diffractive uh, pseudophagia. With the normal uh, yellow lens of the biome, you can see here, you have a quite nice uh, view of the macula and also a quite large uh, peripheral uh, view of the uh, of of the fundus, as you can see now, we will have uh, this uh, vessel crossing that I'm uh, showing you afterwards as a mark to check uh, how peripheral we can uh, reach with this lens. Um, this uh, normal yellow lens is excellent. You have a quite nice uh, view of the macular area and also a quite uh, nice uh, peripheral uh, view of the, of the retina. These uh, vessel crossings we will use as a landmark to, to compare with other lenses. And with the first lens I'm going to compare is with the new disposable yellow lens. It is uh, 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 designed to, to be used as the, the yellow, normal yellow one. And this is the, the lens. Um, my impression with this lens is that the, that the macular view is better that, uh, than, than with the, the, the normal and non-disposable yellow lens, but the peripheral view is a little bit smaller, as you can see now. The lens is a little bit bulkier than the normal yellow one and you cannot get as close to the cornea as uh, you want it. So uh, the primary position field of view is smaller. But with tilting of the eye you can reach quite peripheral and comparing the, the vitectomy of the periphery with the normal uh, non-disposable yellow lens it is pretty pretty similar. I hardly can remove more vitreous with the with the normal one. The, but definitely the, the macular view is better, much better, with the disposable one. Probably because you have to, to do less too with this lens compared with the normal non-disposable uh, yellow lens. This is the, the comparison with the with the two lenses. Again, this is the non disposable uh, uh, lens, the normal yellow one. You can see here the vessel uh, crossing, which is quite peripheral. And I'm comparing with the new disposable ultra wide field. It is a new concept, new design. The macular view is uh, worse because once uh, you move, uh, you tilt the lens a little bit. Uh, you have some kind of diplopia, but the peripheral view, as you will see afterwards, is excellent, it's massive. It is not that different uh, with the uh, normal non disposable yellow one, but you, I think that you can reach 10 degrees more peripheral um, during the surgery. You have this uh, comparison between the ultra wide and the normal yellow lens. Uh, the arrow uh, marks this uh, vessel crossing. As you can see, the peripheral view in primary position is larger with the ultra wide. Um, with the indentation, uh, you can compare the reference. It is pretty similar, but also with the ultra wide, I have to indent a little bit less, so the deformation of the eye is smaller. And as you can see now. Uh, I can check the periphery and perform the indentation in an easier way with the new uh, uh, ultra wide disposable lens. Now I'm changing to air with the uh, ultra wide lens, and you can see how periphery I can reach. I can see the aura, but also I can also reach the aura with the normal yellow one. So it is not that a massive difference. I think the massive difference is in primary position when you have this uh, 10 degrees more of visual uh, field. Uh, 